uh, really you can't under uh, value exercise. It's really important to be uh, exercising and on your feet and active. Uh, and that's for your whole body, from your heart all the way down to your toes. Peripheral arterial disease basically means uh, disease in any of the arteries that are in the legs or the arms. Most commonly in the legs. Uh, one of the most common disease processes that we treat is peripheral arterial disease. Once the arteries start to get smaller, particularly below the hips or the groin area, that's when they are particularly susceptible to atherosclerosis. A beginning sign is that you have pain when you're walking. But a lot of times people can present too late. So they have gangrene developing in their toes or uh, some tissue loss or wounds developing on their feet. At that point, it's considered critical limb ischemia. And unfortunately, it's more common than we would like, especially in diabetics and smokers. Once you get to have that point of having a wound in your toes or your foot, the uh, outcomes are worse, unfortunately. So we like to screen people and treat people early on to prevent that, whether that's medically or surgically. The term that we use is called claudication. It's a very specific type of pain where basically you have, after walking, you get a cramping or burning sensation, usually in the calves or it can be up in the thigh. And if the blockages are even higher, it can be up in the, in the buttocks area or the pelvis. And the very classic sign of claudication is that there's, you have minimal pain and then when you walk, you start to develop pain and then when you stop walking, that pain resolves or goes away. Now, sometimes people have constant pain and that's considered rest pain. And, and that's a further progression of claudication. So uh, when you have claudication, it's really important that you come and get worked up because we can, if we manage it early enough, we can oftentimes avoid surgery and prevent uh, you getting to those later stages of uh, having critical ischemia. As a vascular surgeon, we can offer various treatment modalities. The classical way to do it, things would be an open surgery. So wherever the disease process is, we, can, we would cut down and fix the blood vessel, whether opening it up or doing a bypass. That could be in the legs, in the belly, or the neck. But nowadays, we can offer endovascular treatments, which is uh, the first line that we offer. And oftentimes, now we can treat the arteries fully from that way. That involves uh, uh, percutaneous or through the skin with a needle, either in the groin area or the arm. And we can go treat an artery that's uh, far away, all the way down to the toes and into the brain. And that's minimally invasive. So whereas before, an open surgery would require a hospitalization, now we can oftentimes do the procedure in the morning and have you laying flat for one or two hours and have you on your feet and going home the same day. You can't under uh, value exercise. It's really important to be uh, exercising and on your feet and active. Uh, and that's for your whole body, from your heart all the way down to your toes. So we encourage you to exercise as much as possible because you can actually develop those collateral vessels that can uh, almost be like side streets getting blood across the blockage, whereas the main arteries would be considered like the freeway. We like to have the freeway, freeway open, but if you're exercising, you can develop those side streets. A lot of times people say they can't walk because of the pain. Uh, for those people, we always can recommend things like uh, uh, ellipticals or a bike, and swimming is actually a really good option for a lot of people, and that can help get the circulation going. So whatever way you can exercise, we always encourage that. I always knew that I wanted to work with my hands. That's why I became a surgeon. Uh, and in my training, I was exposed to um, vascular surgery. And I really liked the connections that I built with my patients. As a vascular surgeon, we treat you from the beginning uh, and throughout your life. Uh, with whether medically or surgically. And uh, we always have to see you back uh, um, for surveillance. If we've ever treated you, we want to make sure that what we've treated stays open. 
And uh, if we're not treating you quite yet, we want to make sure that we follow you to make sure that it doesn't progress to that, need, that point of needing treatment. So oftentimes my patients become kind of part of like my family because I get to see them so often and uh, we uh, form that strong connection. So my, my mother, Dr. Rizwan Hussein, God bless her, has uh, been a primary care doctor in internal medicine in this community for over 30 years. So I've already, always had a connection to this uh, community. I volunteered here as a teenager, you know, going and pa transporting patients and helping with paperwork and lab work. When I uh, uh, was able to join Eminent Health as a vascular surgeon, I, was, uh, I almost felt like a homecoming. A lot of the, uh, these fellow doctors that uh, I used to, would be my mentors are now my colleagues. So I'll always have a special connection to this community and uh, um, I love being here.